Hey Calvary Kids, my name is Mr. Derek and I'm so glad you decided to join me for Kids Church today. A little while ago, I got some pretty sad news. One of my good friends was moving away. So now, instead of a 20 minute car ride to their house, I would have to get on an airplane to visit them. Ugh, this is going to be really hard, right? Yeah, it's really sad. I'm not able to go over to their house whenever I want. Now I have to call him on the phone and it's just really not the same. Now I want you to imagine if this has happened to you. Maybe it has happened to you. Maybe one of your friends did move away. How do you feel right now after thinking about your friend moving away? Ugh, now I feel so sad thinking about it. I'm so sad I think maybe I might cry about it. Well, when I think about this really sad news, let's just jump on our feet and sing a worship song. This song is pretty fun, so Maybe it'll cheer me up a little bit. Wow, I think you guys are sounding better and better. You really did so great with that song. I just love hearing you sing. That song did help me cheer up a little bit. So do you guys remember what we've been learning about? Let me give you a hint. Does this help you remember anything? Hmm. Yes, we have been learning about the fruits of the spirit. So, well, we aren't learning about real fruits, but these just help us remember what we're learning about. When we are followers of Jesus, we are constantly growing and becoming more and more like him. We are growing these fruits so people can see Jesus in us. So last week, we talked about the fruit of love. We talked about how we can show others we love them by putting them first. 
Remember, we looked at the real love that Jesus showed us by dying on the cross for us and said that he is the perfect example of how we are supposed to love others. This week, we are going to jump in and learn about joy. We are going to look at a story that has someone named Paul in it. Do you guys know anything about Paul? Well, let me just tell you a little bit about him. Paul's name was actually Saul. And at the beginning of his life, he did not love Jesus. He actually persecuted and mistreated people who did love Jesus. He met God though, and this changed his whole life. God even changed his name. Paul then went out on many journeys to teach and preach about all the incredible things that Jesus had done. But because of what Paul was preaching, many people wanted to put him in jail or even kill him. So let's grab our Bibles and turn to Acts chapter 10 and learn from Paul and his friend Silas. Slapstick Theater, Paul and Silas. This is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was freed. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. And they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh, man. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what just happened? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even though Paul and Silas were thrown into jail, they were still filled with joy and willing to praise Jesus. They didn't start whining and complaining. Instead, they sang and praised God. Now, let's put ourselves in their shoes for a second. They were stuck in a cold, dark prison cell for doing something that really wasn't wrong. Would you be filled with joy like Paul and Silas? Honestly, I think it would be really hard to praise God if I were stuck in jail. I think instead of praising God, I would be praying and asking him to get me out. I think that would be incredibly difficult. I would not feel happy and filled with joy at all. Paul and Silas showed us that no matter what our circumstances are, we can still be filled with joy because of who God is and the promises he has made. But another incredible thing came out of the joy that Paul and Silas felt. Do you guys remember what it was? Yes, they were able to teach someone about Jesus and that day in prison, more people were added to Jesus's family and got to live with him in heaven forever. What an incredible opportunity they had. Now, we probably are not going to be thrown into jail like Paul and Silas, but that doesn't mean that there won't be hard times where it's hard to be filled with joy. Now, let's watch a quick video where a little boy struggles to find joy in letting go of something that was important to him.
Have you guys ever had to let go of something that you didn't want to? This little boy really didn't want to get rid of the toys. He was really upset about getting rid of the toys, wasn't he? But when he let them go, he was able to share joy with others. He was able to see the great joy that his old toy brought to someone else. We can do this too. We are able to share the joy that Jesus brings to our lives with the people around us. Sometimes life is hard or sad. But there are so many stories in the Bible that show us that we can be filled with joy if we have Jesus in our lives. When we become a part of God's family, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is in us to be our helper in all types of situations in our lives. The Holy Spirit can help us with joy and help us praise God in circumstances just like Paul and Silas. But I want to tell you something else. Just because we were filled with joy doesn't mean we need to be happy all the time. Sometimes things in life are really sad and we can feel unhappy. But the great thing is that we can be filled with joy even when we are unhappy because we trust that whatever God is doing is part of his amazing plan. Paul and Silas didn't like being in jail, but they understand that God was not going to leave them alone. Do you know what else they understood? They knew that even in this hardship, God had an incredible plan. And that incredible plan was for Paul and Silas to teach the jailer and his family about Jesus. Friends, our joy is not based on our circumstances. In other words, no matter what is going on in our lives or in the world around us, we can have joy. Even in things in our lives are hard, we can know that God is good. We can choose to have joy because God's promises are true and that will never change. Throughout the Bible, there are so many places that God promises to always be with us. In Deuteronomy 31.8, it says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. What incredible comfort and joy we can find in these verses. God has promised to always be with us. No matter if hard things in life happen, we can be filled with joy because we know that God is walking right through the difficult situation with us. Just like Paul and Silas's joy helped to transform the jailer's life, the joy that we radiate from being a follower of Jesus can change the life of people who come in contact with us. I know that being filled with joy can sometimes be really hard, but when we remember that God will never leave us, we can shine with a joy that will make others want to know who Jesus is. Here are your discussion questions for this week. If you want, you can pause the video right now and take some time to talk through these questions with your parents or another family member. If not, don't worry. We'll put them up again at the end of the video so you can use them later. And now, let's sing another song together. You see in me is Jesus I'm gonna show my 
What a great story. Paul and Silas were in a terrible situation, but they still were able to be filled with joy. I can hardly believe that. But Paul and Silas knew that even though things were hard, God was still good. They fully believed that God was who he said he was, and they knew that God was never going to leave them alone. Hmm. So if Paul and Silas could be filled with joy when they were in prison, I guess I can still be filled with joy even when my friend is so far away. Even though my friend lives so far away, I can still talk to him on the phone, and that's really great. And maybe sometime soon, I could get on an airplane and go visit him. Well, I hope you learned something about being filled with joy today. I know I did, and I'm already feeling better just thinking about how incredible it is that God never leaves us alone. He is such a good God, and we have so much to be thankful for. Thanks for joining me today for Kids Church. I hope you have a great week and we hope to see you next time.